Here is Emily's backstroke above the water, getting those feet set. Whatever you get your feet set for your backstroke start, make sure you're setting those toes right underneath the surface of the water. I know in this scenario we didn't have touch pads in, and about the top six inches of the wall at Carthage's pool is metal, so that's not going to really result in that strong of a push for that start. One thing I do see is you've got a little bit greater than even a 90 degree bend in those legs and the back of that knee specifically. Want to make sure that you are getting your hips a little bit closer to your heels so then you're going to be able to generate a little bit more power to help get you up and out of the water and get you out much further. As we go through the start, pulling up real well. And then as we kind of see you going forward, you are just kind of relaxing a little bit almost through your arms, which is dropping you down a little bit more. You can see almost your hips kind of sink a little bit in the water. You want to make sure that you are pushing off with your legs first and almost trying to pull your hands off the starting block so that you're going to be able to get up and out of the water. Great look for the far wall on that uh, start. Good use of your dolphin kick underneath the water. I think that's going to be where your uh, speed is generated for backstroke is definitely through staying underneath the water. As we see you go through the turn here, big thing is going to be as soon as you duck your head up, got to be able to tuck those heels up. You tend to wait real, real long, and so those feet just come over a lot later than what they uh, are capable of doing. I know that's one of those things with the underwater uh, flip turns and mid-pool flips. You've done a much better job of getting yourself nice and small going through those turns. So keep working on that. Keep thinking about that as you go work with your club team. As we see your breakout, breakout's just a little on the slow side. Uh, we'll slow things down, kind of see how the uh, pole is underneath. I see just a little bit of turbulence right there on the surface, which means we do need to work on getting a little bit deeper of a pole, so then you can make sure you're grabbing all good stable water and not any of the garbage water for the top uh, six inches or so. As we watch you go in for the finish, finishing real well on that side with that left arm. Very good job. Nice job. Here is Emily's backstroke from underneath the water. So you get set up really pretty well. Do want to put those feet up a little bit higher when we've got a touch pad. Great motion on the dolphin kick. Just a little bit of movement out of those arms and those hands. And then as we see you kind of get a little bit closer to the surface, you are lifting that chin up. So then you're popping up a lot quicker than what I'd like to see you do. Uh, see that kick motoring along pretty well. As we go through that pull, we see a lot of the bubbles on your hands. You want to make sure that as soon as your hand enters here, get under your side, rotate a little bit more, and then press down so you can get a much deeper pull. Think about pressing back by getting that high elbow uh, catch, and then work on rotating through. As you do rotate from side to side, as you're finishing the arm pull right through here, the other arm should be starting to enter, so your body should naturally roll side to side. It's one of those things that we actually don't really necessarily have to work on as long as you can get the timing between your arms down properly. And see you go through the turn here. You do tend to dive down and then balance off. I'd like to see you actually be able to come off this wall, not nearly as steep of a line, but maintaining that depth by simply leaning back on your shoulder blades, and that should help you actually kind of just gradually come up to the surface. Good range of motion on those dolphin kicks. Again, that's going to be one of those things that really makes your backstroke much stronger as we see this pull. It just gives you another opportunity to see how you're just kind of pulling straight on through. You do a very good job of trying to keep the thing, your stroke pulling, and then you do press it down with your full forearm and hand at the very end. You want to see it just get a little bit lower, a little bit deeper on that pull, and then being able to just more or less get to more of a hand snap at the very end versus a full forearm uh, downward motion. As we see you going from the finish, uh, down below. Looks pretty good. Looks like you're getting on your side for a good long finish. Nice job.